In this video, I'm going to show you one of my favorite blitz beaters from the Air Raid offense in Madden 22. This is a play that you can go to whenever your opponent is sending pressure and really gives you the ability to blitz beat the pressure in multiple ways. Now, if you're new to the channel, I want to ask you to go ahead and click that subscribe button down below. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel and it just allows you to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies that we release every single day here on the YouTube channel. Now, today we're going to be talking about the Arizona Air Raid Offensive Ebook or Arizona Air Raid uh, Playbook. If you haven't already picked up my ebook for this offense, I would really encourage you to do that. Uh, I'm going to put a link in the description uh, to be able to sign up for that ebook. It is only uh, $10, and the cool part about it is by signing up for our Patreon, you're going to get access to not only the Arizona ebook, but you're also going to get access to every uh, Madden 22 offensive and defensive ebook. I've got 20 offensive and defensive guides available in that membership for you. And the cool part is by again, by joining the membership, you're going to get access to everything for uh, literally just one price of 10 bucks a month. So it gets you access to everything, all the updates and any new ebooks uh, that we release. So if you want to sign up for that, again, there's going to be a link in the description below uh, where you can do just that. Okay, guys, let's talk today about pressure um, and this is something that a lot of people will do whenever you they see that you're in the spread formation um, they're going to try to send different blitzes uh, just to try to throw you off your timing and just make things a little bit more difficult for you um, as a passer okay so what we can do to combat pressure is through quick dots and the spread has numerous of those that you can create literally which is a couple of basic hot routes so I'm gonna come out in the play um, I'm gonna come out in the play curl wheel but I do have a couple audible set uh, but you can really do this from any play in the formation okay curl wheel is just my favorite play so how we're gonna set this up is um, a couple different things so the first thing is the most powerful player in our arsenal to beat the blitz is our running back because they basically can't cover him um, so for your opponent to blitz, especially out of wide, you're going to have a five-man blitzing concept right here. And if you just take a look, this is what's going to happen. They're going to send five, and you're going to notice that the running back is going to outflank the safety on that side of the field. So that's the number one way they can send pressure. The second way they can send pressure is through um, Mike Blitz 3, right? So they can stand right here, and now they have a flat defender over there, but the whole seam is wide open. So those are the two primary things they can do. Um, of course, if they wanted to, they can play like a hook curl there, um, and then flat is wide open. But you see, that's basically what they got, okay? So um, how can we beat, or how can we combat pressure? Well, if you think about what where the pressure is coming from, and you think about what they're doing to have to get the pressure, um, it can kind of inform you as to how you will, might want to beat the pressure. So what I like to do um, to beat the pressure from spread is a really, really simple route combination. I would advise you to have Hot Rod Master. If you don't have Hot Rod Master, we do have a setup for you, um, so don't worry about it. But it's because it's going to be basically the same thing, but it's still, it still is advantageous to have Hot Rod Master. Okay? So we're going to first start with a man-to-man -man, uh, pressure. So it looks just like this. What we're gonna do is we're going to take the tight end and we're gonna put him on a tight end apprentice or a slot apprentice post. Or if we can't do that, we're gonna put him on a smart routed in route, okay? So either a smart routed in route or a slot apprentice post. We're gonna wheel the running back. We're going to out route Mike Evans. So you see that right there. And then what I like to do is actually bring Scotty Miller on a drag. So you see that it looks just like this. This is at a curl wheel. If you want to put Godwin on a flat, you certainly can do that. If you want to put uh, Godwin on a hitch and put Scotty Miller on a smoke, you can do that as well. Okay? Um, but I'm talking specifically for man. If I know it's man, I'm probably going to do something like this. Okay? And what you're going to see is if I see man, instantly I'm throwing the running back. Like if the running the running back's gonna be open right on cue, I'm gonna throw him the ball. Him the ball. So what that's gonna do is it's gonna force the user to have to go guard. And the running back route has to be user. It's the best route in Madden this year. The running back wheel. Um, so if you get something like that, they're gonna have to go user 
the running back route. Well, that's where my eyes are then gonna move to the left side of the screen, and I'm gonna try to hit this post over the middle, as you can see. Now, if you want a little bit better of a man beater, if you can think about this for just a second from a personnel, just kind of a situational deal, because if they send pressure at a man, it's very likely that they're going to try to you know, really get down in your face and press you, and particularly out of a spread defense or a spread set, which is one of the advantages uh, to spread. What we can do then is just leave the wheel. And why would you leave the wheel? Because it's going to naturally rub off, and you can actually throw this with a low pass inside, just like you would a running back wheel, um, which makes it very effective against man-to-man. -man. It makes it very effective against zone, but it definitely makes it very effective against man. I'll show you that again. So what you'll notice here is if they run to the right, I can throw that as a low ball quick. Okay, so I can hit that wheel before they can get the ball or before they can get out. Okay, so that's a key, key thing. Now, ideally, what I would honestly recommend with this is you would want your running back to the short side of the field. I think it's helpful to have your running back to the short side of the field whenever you're trying to beat the blitz because it allows you a lot of possibilities with your two receivers on the backside. So let's say they know they have to go out and guard him on the running back. Then what you're going to notice here is if we want to, we could actually put Scotty Miller on an out route too. So we could do something like this and have double wheels. If you look, look at the left side here, again, a lot of times you can get that. I, I should have thrown that over the top. But a lot of times against press, you can lob that wheel over the top on the wide side of the field. Okay, So just mess around with that wheel a little bit. Obviously, the running back wheel is open. Obviously, the tight end is open. Another route combo that you might want to test is if you have a, a suspicion that it's a man-to-man -man blitz, I would go with something that looks like this as well. So now we have a slant, we have a post, and then you know now they're in a position where you know you got your post over the middle against man-to-man. -man. The in route will beat it just as just as fine too. Okay. Um, the next defense I want to talk about is a cover three zone. Um, this one's fairly simple to beat um, because it, again it relies on where their user goes. But with this one, um, your drag should be open, and then your running back, everything should really be open. So you see this, you know your running back wheel is open, you can hit that right in the seam. Okay? So if you see that, your running back wheel, once again, is an easy read against the blitz. So then they're going to say, okay, well, we know that we have to go guard the running back wheel. So if you think about this, again, from a perspective of like where they're going to run, they're going to run to the right. They run to the right. Now I work backside and my drag is wide open. Okay, so my eyes are going, user goes to the right. Now I'm coming back left and I'm hitting the route that is open on the left side. Okay, so that's, I think, a really, really important uh, tip for reading the play. You have to understand, if you can read, the, read this, it's not very difficult to beat the blitz. Okay, um, you just want to be able to read it. So here's a purple on the side, which you'll see is the purple is not going to do anything different. In two by two sets, the flat drag is really good. Uh, that flat drag concept, um, just a very good route combo. So what they're going to have to do, if they really want to stop the the drag, is they're going to have to put that defender over there on the left side in a vert hook. And then what you should see here is if they have him in a vert hook, you see how he sucks in, your flat's open, you take it, okay? So that's how you kind of beat the zone blitz. Um, if they're going to blitz you out of cover two, that's a little bit diff more difficult because they can have a real good underneath coverage here on the left side. You can leave that wheel, okay? You can leave the wheel, which is fine. The right side, you just have to deal with the hard flat. Um, you know, so again, it's not that big of a deal. Because again, if they go to the right here, there's nobody in the middle of the field for the post. There's nobody. And they have to go to the right. They have to go all the way to the right to guard the running back. If they don't guard the running back, which most of the time they honestly don't, um, if they don't guard the running back, obviously you want to throw the running back. So, uh, But then how do you beat this concept over here on the right? Well, what you want to do, this is where that curl wheel play with the wheel is really effective. So what you'll see here is if they're playing a hard flat, I can pass lead that outside and beat the cover two. Real nice little play. And then everything else stays the same. If they're going to play, you know, a basic 
uh, cover three, you'll see here that drag still coming underneath, sucks down the yellow, throws that wide open. So you the wheel is a very good route to leave on this, I think, um, because it does so much for your for your for your uh, squad. And then again here, this is a man play. You see how good that running back wheel is. So to me, this is the best way to beat the blitz in Madden right now. Um, real simple, real, real simple blitz beater, but very effective. You can also run this little double drag setup. Um, to me, the wheel's not as good in the double drag setup, but you have this post to the tight or the outside receiver. That is really, really, really good. Um, we're gonna talk about that in another video. Uh, with that outside receiver on that post, if they you know aren't paying attention, that should be an easy completion every single time. Okay, so thanks for watching the video. That's how you beat the blitz out of spread. One other quick pro tip that I wanted to offer is if you go to your play action audible in a spread playbook, no matter what they do, they can't really get pressure on you if they only send a five man. So you see here, even a six man doesn't get in, and then I have time to make my read. Okay. So thanks for watching the video. If you want to get the full Arizona Air Raid offense and you want to get all the eBooks, uh, join the Patreon. It's only ten dollars a month. Gets you access to over twenty offensive and defensive guides. In addition to that, we give you all the updates, and we typically update the membership pretty much every week with new material and new. We just dropped a brand new defense in there today. That is really, really, really good. I really encourage you to check it out. Again, thanks for watching the video, and if you want to sign up for the Patreon, there's a link in the description where you can do that.